Hey guys, this is the Great Lugia here. Welcome to Pokemon Silver Version, the go-through, part 48. And last episode, we explored Dark Cave and started exploring Mount Mortar, and we're almost done with it, actually. And yeah, still not checking that item because I don't care. And I'm almost 100% certain it's just an escape rope. Unless that guy's wrong. But yeah. Just going down here, and I actually um, recorded this once before up to the part of getting out of Mount Mortar, but somehow, like, something weird happened with the file, so now I have to redo this, and this is a max revive. But yeah, it's not the full video, it's just up until I get out of Mount Mortar. And yes, we're almost done with that. And, yes, repel, we're off. Just gonna use another one. Going down here now. And, yeah, here's the guy we were looking for. He's the one trainer in this whole cave. And, well, he has something important. He is the Karate King, and he was the head of the Fighting Dojo in Red, Blue, and Yellow. And he also has the same Pokemon, a Hitmonlee and a Hitmonchan. And they can be a bit annoying. And yeah, this is the first time we're seeing Typhlosion in action, and it's... Typhlosion's mouth looks a bit more odd than I remember its sprite being. Well, oh well, it's still awesome. Fire Punch! Nice. And it has that annoying move, high jump kick. Which surprisingly didn't do too much. And, yeah, I'm just gonna finish it off with another fire punch! And, yeah, next is Hitmonchan. I'm just gonna leave in Typhlosion for that, too. Fire Punch again. Hopefully that should be a 2 at KO as well. Yep. And for some reason it's using Fire Punch even though it has Thunder Punch. Which would do neutral. At least I'm guessing it has Thunder Punch. I know it has Ice Punch. And yeah, it should die right now. And it does. And yeah... The Karate King has been defeated. And now, he will give us a... Tyrogue! This is the only way to get that in gold and silver, and... The only other way to get it in crystal is if you're lucky with the Odd Egg. Now then. The thing about Tyrogue is... It's a baby Pokemon, and it has three evolutions. Hitmonchan, or Hitmonlee, or Hitmontop. So yeah, three possible evolutions. Now, some of you may be wondering why I bothered to go through such a huge and kind of useless dungeon just for that. Now, I have a feeling I haven't uploaded the last video yet because I'm recording this on... Uh, what was it? Saturday. And before I go off screen, I'm just going to say basically, yeah, some of you may be thinking, well, that maybe I'm using Tyrogue or something like that, a.k.a. this guy right here. To answer your question, I am not. Tyrogue is not our sixth team member. Don't worry, we'll get it eventually. I just did that whole thing to, you know, show you guys how to find it and such. So anyways, back in a second. Hey guys, back here. I just went ahead and made some off-screen changes, just making sure I got everything. Yes, I do. I just used another repel off-screen, and we are headed to the Whirl Island. Again, I won't be exploring everything, because except here, there's no real useful items whatsoever. Just going down here. And, yeah. 
And I'm guessing a lot of you know what's coming now. To get there, you want to go to the Northeast Island. You need to do that. Even though there are four islands, that's the only one where it's accessible. Wait, is this the right island? Actually, yeah, it is. Wait, just to make sure. And yeah, here you need Flash also. No, you want to go over here. And this way. This is the only way to get there. You need to go this way if you want to reach it. And also, interesting note, here. Max Revive, another one. Those are always very nice and always come in handy. And... A long waterfall! Okay. And yes. I'm guessing a lot of people know what's in here. Nothing yet, but if you go forward... There it is. It's finally time to do this. But you are going to have to wait for that until... Next episode. See you then.